Hey, it's Oscar from The Coding Universe here, and this is episode 6 of my Java game development series. In this episode, I'm going to cover basic game states. So we can go ahead and create a new class, and call it game, actually, state demo. We can add the simple OpenGL rendering code, copy it in, and that Eclipse changed it. Wait, R. There we go. Change the title to State Demo and remove this rendering stuff. So basically, what game states are, they're something like the main menu, the gameplay menu, the introduction stuff. So to indicate in what state we're in, we're going to use an enum. We're going to create a private static enum and call it state. Then we're going to add three states. Intro, main menu, and game. We're also going to add an instance variable which is of type state I'm going to call it state by default it's going to be the introduction state so now when we create a method which will render things for us or a method which will check our input stuff create a switch statement which will switch through our state so in the case that it would be the introduction I would maybe draw the entire screen with a red or green block so that's just Use a method called glrect, which is actually a shortcut for drawing quadrilaterals, but for a rectangle. 0, 0, 640, 180. And set our color in the introduction menu to. Let's see, red. Add a break statement. And we're going to look for the case game. So if we're in the game state, we're going to do the same, but with the, oh, right, but with the green color. Is that a green? Yep, that's a green color. And in the case of a main menu, we're going to draw a blue color. Now, of course, in real programming or game developing environments, the introduction, game, and main, main menu render stuff wouldn't look like this. We would create, well, buttons and main menu thingies. But this is a placeholder, you can change this for any render code you want to render in the introduction screen. As for the check input, same thing applies, but we're going to do that later. Let's first check if it works. So, revoke render. when I run it, it's on a red screen, which means we're on the introduction screen. Now I'm going to check for input. Um, if keyboard is key down, no wait, 
We can add another switch statement for our state. In the case of an introduction menu, we're going to do something in the case of a game, we're going to do something, and in the case of a main menu, we're going to do something. So if keyboard is key press, key down, keyboard. Ah, oh, sorry, I really can't type now. Key return, which is enter. Our state is going to be the main menu. So if we press enter while we're in the introduction screen, we're going to set our state to main menu. For the game, oh yeah, and if We have our escape key down. We're going to exit. In the case of a game, if we have the escape key down, the back key. Going to set our state to main menu, and in the main menu state, if we press return, our state will be uh, the game state, and if we press Um, if you press the space bar, for example, our state is going to be the introduction screen. So we're also going to add a method check input here. And let's see if it works. So now we're on the introduction screen, if I press enter, I'm on the main menu screen, and if I press, oh, um, uh, I don't really know what's happening here, let me see, red was introduction screen, green was game, and blue was main menu. Oh, I know the, the calls. If we press the S key, which will be our start key, with the main menu, which is the blue thing, when we press the return key, we're going to the game, the back key, we'll go back into the main menu, and the escape key, doesn't do anything. The spacebar returns us to the introduction screen, and in the introduction screen, if we press the escape key, we exit the application. So, this was episode 6 of my Java game development series. I hope you enjoyed. Till next time.